Hello class, welcome to another episode of Science Rules with Mr. Pierce. Today we are talking about electricity. Specifically, we're going to look at certain items and see if they are conductors or insulators of electricity. So let's get started. The materials we're using today is we have a little battery, we have some alligator clips, we have a, a light switch holder, and then we have some wires. So I have connected to our power source, which is this D battery here, through the, the complete circuit, a complete circuit through the, you see when I touch these two wires together, the light comes on. Maybe a little bit difficult to see, best bulb I could find there, the light comes on. So we have a complete circuit when these are together. And this will allow us to test these items to see if they're conductors or insulators. So let's start first with, we have a golf tee, which is basically wood. Golf tee. And we have no light. So we're gonna say that the golf tee is an insulator. Golf tee. Made of wood. Next, let's test this metal paper clip and the light comes on. So the metal paper clip is a conductor and we're not dealing with a lot of bolts here so this is relatively safe. So a conductor, metal, Metal paper clip. Okay, next. Here we have some plastic. This is a tin rod. It's worth 10. 10 units. Let's test it and see if it is a conductor or an insulator. The light bulb did not come on. So we're going to say that this plastic tin rod is a insulator. It's made of plastic. Okay, next, let's try this piece of cork. So we test the cork. No big surprise there. No light bulb came on. The cork is an insulator. Okay, now we have a clothespin. Let's try that one. It's mainly made of wood, clothespin. Doesn't work that way, but there is a small piece of metal actually connecting, a little spring action there, connecting the clothespin. Let's see if the metal will get the light bulb to come on. And the light bulb comes on. We have success. So the paper clip. Hmm. So we're going to say, let's see, we're going to do both. So the clothespin, clothespin. The metal part is a conductor. And then the part that's wooden is an insulator. So it was a little bit of both. Okay, next we're gonna try this copper penny. One cent, Honest Abe. A light comes on, and that is because copper is a very good conductor of electricity. Copper penny. And now, last but not least, we have a small aluminum can. Let's test it out. Oh, the light bulb came on, just barely. That's because aluminum is not a great conductor of electricity, but nonetheless, let's try that again. Watch, watch close. It 
There it goes. Here it goes. All right, it works best on the little pop top. So aluminum is a conductor. Slide that one right in here. Aluminum. Can. Uh, specifically the top seemed to seem to be a better conductor than the rest of the can. Okay, so recapping. Conductors and insulators of electricity. Uh, things that are made of wood, plastic, uh, cork, or insulators of electricity. Conductors, a metal paper clip, aluminum, the metal part of the clothespin, and copper, especially copper. We have a lot of copper wires because copper is an excellent conductor of electricity. Okay, that's our episode of Science Rules. I hope you enjoyed it and visit us again.